shuts off conversation. You can no longer continue. Well, Bob, I, I agree with you. And I want to just first thank everybody uh, who served. And this is Memorial Day. And we're paying honor to all of those people who made the ultimate sacrifice protecting our way of life. And that includes protecting spe free speech. And make no mistake about this. This is an act against free speech, but it's a little bit more than that, Bob. This is speech control. Now, look, to get into Netflix, you have to log on to the account. You have to put a credit card in there. You've got to pay your credit card bill. Then you log on to Netflix. You get to select the movie or show that you want to watch. If you select a comedy show, it's your choice. What these people are saying is that you don't have that choice. You're no longer allowed to select what you want to what you want to hear, and and they're gonna they're gonna cancel you for this. How can you cancel somebody for making a choice on what they want to listen to? And as far as this goes, it's starting to transcend to the workplace. Can you imagine if somebody goes back 10 years in something that you have said maybe 10 years ago, and they decide to cancel you? What's it, it's it's insanity is what it is. It is happening. I mean, you can't say anything in the workplace anymore. It's like, can I say this, by the way? You look nice today. I like, I mean, oh, oh, you know, that's where we are now. Yeah, like you said, all kinds of requirements, Mark, for you to be able to lo log online for Netflix, including your password. And I forgot yours. If you could just share it for a second <laughs> so I can get back yeah. on. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we're short on time today. Melanie Collette, Mark Powell, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Coming up, giving back to those who served and sacrificed for our nation. We'll have more of American Agenda.